The naval battle of Kula Gulf took place in the early hours of 6 July 1943 during World War II. The battle involved United States and Japanese ships off the eastern coast of Kolombongara, in the Solomon Islands. It took place during the early stages of the New Georgia campaign when a Japanese force landing reinforcements at Vila was intercepted by a force of U.S. Navy cruisers and destroyers. One U.S. light cruiser was sunk during the engagement while two Japanese destroyers were sunk and two more were damaged. The Japanese withdrew after the engagement, having landed 1,600 troops. Chapter 1 Background In mid-1943, in the wake of the Guadalcanal campaign, the Allies launched their next offensive in the Solomon Islands, landing troops on the island of Rendova on 30 June as a preliminary step to seizing the major Japanese airstrip at Munda on New Georgia Island. The U.S. landing on Rendova took place to set up an initial beachhead from which to move troops across Blanche Channel to New Georgia. After Rendova had been secured, the move to Zainana on the mainland took place on 2 July, after which U.S. forces began the westward advance on Munda. In order to support this effort, and cut off Japanese reinforcements from moving down the Munda Trail from Bairako, the Allies decided to land a force on the north shore of New Georgia on 5 July. Meanwhile, the Japanese sought to reinforce the Munda area, moving troops and supplies via barge from the Shortlands, via Kolombongara. The night before the battle in the Kula Gulf, Rear Admiral Walden L. Ainsworth's United States Navy Task Group 36.1 conducted a cruiser bombardment of Vila on Kolombongara Island and Bairaco. This operation was undertaken to support a landing at Rice Anchorage on the northern shore of New Georgia, by U.S. Marine and United States Army troops tasked with capturing Enigai and Bairaco. At the same time as the Marines were landing at Rice Anchorage two U.S. Navy destroyers, USS Strong and Chevalier, entered Bairaco Harbor to provide naval gunfire support. In the early hours of the morning a torpedo was spotted closing which hit Strong on her port side aft, resulting in the loss of the destroyer. A total of 241 survivors were rescued by Chevalier while O'Bannon attempted to return fire, 46 U.S. sailors lost their lives during the attack. The fatal Type 93 torpedo, was a long lance. It came from a salvo of 14 torpedoes fired by a group of four Japanese destroyers, led by Niezuki. The torpedo traveled a distance of 11 nautical miles and is believed to be longest successful torpedo attack of the war. After firing their torpedoes the Japanese destroyers departed the area without being detected. Such was the distance of the shot, the US commander believed that his force had been attacked by a Japanese submarine. Chapter 2 – Battle Ainsworth's task group consisted of the light cruisers USS Honolulu, USS St. Louis, and USS Helena, plus four destroyers, Nicholas, O'Bannon, Radford, and Jenkins. On the afternoon of 5 July, they were returning to the Coral Sea to resupply, when Admiral William Halsey was informed of another Tokyo Express mission down the slot in the Solomon Islands, from Binya, on Bougainville. Ordered to intercept the Japanese, Ainsworth changed course, and proceeded northwest past New Georgia Island. Chevalier had been damaged picking up survivors from Strong, and left the area, they were replaced by Radford and Jenkins, who left Tilagi 1647 hours and 1837 hours on 5 July respectively, after replenishing. The American ships passed Visu Visu Point, on the northwest coast of New Georgia, just after midnight on 6 July. About an hour later, Ainsworth's task force was off the east coast of Kolombongara, about half a mile from Visu Visu Point, and roughly northeast of Wall Rock, when they came into contact with a Japanese naval reinforcement group consisting of two transport units carrying troops, escorted by a support unit, under Admiral Teru Akiyama. The Japanese force consisted of ten ships in total, all of which were destroyers. The support unit was made up of three ships from the 3rd Destroyer Squadron, while the 1st Transport Unit was made up of three destroyers, 
and the second transport unit consisted of four destroyers. The Japanese ships were carrying 2,600 ground troops and were bound for Vila, which was being used as a staging point for moving reinforcements to Munda. When the battle began, Akiyama's force was divided into two parts, the three escorts of the support unit trailing the main column consisting of the four ships from the second transport unit. Meanwhile, the three ships of the first transport unit, Mochizuki, Mikazuki, and Homokose, were unloading at Vila, about 8.5 miles away. The escorts of the Japanese support unit were the first to be engaged. The U.S. ships, having tracked their opponents with radar, opened fire at 1.57 hours, firing 612 shells in 21 minutes and 6 seconds, quickly sinking the destroyer Niazuki and killing Admiral Akiyama. However, Helena had expended all of her flashless powder the previous night, and she was forced to use smokeless powder, thus illuminating herself to the Japanese ships with every salvo. Two of the Japanese destroyers launched their long lance torpedoes and hit Helena, fatally damaging her. After heading away from Vila following first contact, the main Japanese force broke away behind a smoke screen. In the process, Nagasuki was hit by a single six-inch shell, and ran aground near Bambury Harbor, on Kolombongara, five miles north of Vila, while Hatsuyuki was damaged slightly by two shells, which failed to explode. Around 3.30 hours, Ainsworth began retiring towards Tulagi, while the Japanese headed for Binya. Two American destroyers, Radford and O'Bannon, remained behind to rescue survivors, as did the Japanese destroyer, Amagiri. At about five o'clock, Amagiri and Nicholas exchanged torpedoes and gunfire, hit four times, Amagiri withdrew. The beached Nagasuki was abandoned by her crew in the morning, and was later bombed and destroyed by American aircraft. Mikazuki and Homokose completed unloading, and departed through the Blackett Strait, while Mochizuki lingered for another hour before leaving through the cooler gulf along the coast of Kolombongara, clashing briefly with Nicholas, around 6.15 before withdrawing behind a smoke screen. Chapter 3, Aftermath U.S. losses during the battle amounted to one light cruiser sunk and 168 killed, all of whom were from Helena, while the Japanese lost two destroyers sunk and two destroyers damaged, with 324 men killed. The breakdown of casualties for the Japanese by ship was as follows, Niizuki, Amagiri, Nagasuki, and Hatsuyuki. The Japanese succeeded in landing 1,600 troops at Vila, as well as 90 tons of supplies. For his actions leading the column of cruisers at Kula Gulf and earlier in the campaign, Captain Robert W. Haler of the Honolulu received his second Navy Cross. The destroyers Radford and Nicholas returned to rescue survivors from Helena. While rescuing over 750 men, Radford and Nicholas had to re engage the Japanese three times, they were awarded the Presidential Unit Citation for their rescue. Amagiri escaped and later rammed and cut in half the motor torpedo boat USS PT 109 captained by future President of the United States John F. Kennedy, in the Blackett Strait, southwest of Kolombongara on 2 August. Hatsuyuki and Satsuki returned to Binya via the Blackett Strait. Following the engagement in the Kula Gulf, the Japanese continued to move reinforcements south to New Georgia. On 9 July, 1,200 troops were moved to Kolombongara successfully without opposition. Another effort on 13 December July, however, resulted in the Battle of Kolombongara. Meanwhile, ashore, U.S. troops had secured Enigai on the northwestern coast on 10-11 July, while around Munda the Japanese stubbornly resisted U.S. efforts to advance towards the airfield, which stalled and was eventually halted by a Japanese counterattack on 17 July. Chapter 4, Namesake the U.S. Navy escort aircraft carrier USS Kula Gulf, in commission from 1945 to 1946, 1951 to 1955, and 1965 to 1969, was named for this battle.